Hey, what's going on, everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And if you're hearing me, then you know it's time to get into Hoochie Daddy Season 2, Episode 8. T. Now, in this episode, I like to call the dance challenge because Woody had the Hoochie Daddies gather up into teams of two and put together a dance to a song that's going viral at the time of the show. So they put... <laughs> They put the dance together. They put them in groups of two. Now, um, everybody was wondering what's today's challenge going to be. But luckily, some of them could tell. Some of them, I guess, are familiar with Houston. And they knew when they pulled up to the all-in arena, they knew that it was a dance studio. So they paired them up into groups. We had who? Nelly and who we had we had them in teams but one team that really stood out to me y'all was definitely um, money montana and baby jack i really thought baby jack and money montana was gonna win because they was doing so much they had choreo they had but you know who else had choreo um cooley had in their group they had choreo too so i definitely thought either cooley was going to take it or money montana they end up giving it to moni or me mino mino and ra which was very confusing to me this was the challenge they said you had to come up with a dance routine that could be put on tiktok now once they said that i understood why they didn't really give it to money montana because that was awesome i want to let you know you get your tens from your home girl because that alone was team awesome okay i know they ain't want to give you nothing poo and a lot of people try and say the competition ain't rigged child it's rigged and with nelly and who Nelly was with, theirs was a very choreo. So Famino and Rod to get it, and all they did was twerked, and I, I couldn't even remember it. But they ended up winning the challenge. And I thought, you know, it was a little messy, but they ended up letting them get it. To the dance channel. Now I see. I remember. I know why Nelly lost. Nelly was with 24K, and 24K can't dance. So that makes sense now. Boom. So they get back to the house, but some people still mad about the boxing situation, which is Mino. Mino bring it up that Cooley went too hard on her and she felt like Cooley from the streets. And if you're from the streets and you know you fighting somebody who never been in a fight before, why would you go so hard? Child, let me tell you something. First of all, Cooley said they went easy on you. Secondly, thirdly, if you know that you can't fight, you know what I'm saying? Keep that to yourself. You don't have to keep announcing that, but you keep running that mouth, which will get you knocked whole. You know what I'm saying? Cooley said, I went as light as I could. It is what it is. Look, Woody ended up taking them out to the after hours and they was going out to Anthony's club. So I like that they, Anthony really, you know what I'm saying? Really was letting them do the big one this season. And we see him at the after hours. And that's where this episode ends, y'all. They had the dance challenge and then they went to the after hours. Who stood out to me? this episode definitely money money montana my bad money definitely stood out to me because you got so emotional because you just knew you was going to get that and the thing is i think if this is the one they took a point if i'm not mistaken so many niggas just came and took it it made a nigga feel like period this is the one where they actually took the point away from another person so two people won it was two Ra and who Mino so they came in and took a point from Nelly and Money Montana Money Montana got emotional broke down in tears and was just saying I don't like when things are taken from me and like I said this show is very triggering it's very trauma filled for some of them so I guess on that note it made sense for one to get emotional in that sense but at the end of the day they went out to the club and you know they danced their pain away I got problems yes well I want to thank you guys for listening I will be right back with the recap of episode 9 Nine. If you are interested in this series, it's available now on the YouTube. So if you guys want to check it out, you're perfectly welcome to it. If you enjoy studs or competition shows, get into that tea. But remember this, do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.